That's because right now a main driver's license won't get you into certain federal facilities, but that should change soon. Lawmakers in the House passed the Real ID compliance bill today by a healthy margin. The bill is expected to sail through the rest of the legislative process and get signed by the governor as soon as this week. Maine has pushed back against the federal requirements for a decade. Maine's current Secretary of State Matt Dunlap opposed this change. Former Secretary of State Bill Diamond sponsored the compliance bill. They're both Democrats. It's time for us to step up, make the corrections. It's a federal law. We have no options. And we need to get it done and not use our people back home as a philosophical punching bag back and forth. It doesn't work. We have to get this thing done. It does nothing to enhance national security because the 9-11 hijackers didn't get into the country with driver's licenses. They got into the country with their passports and the visas that were issued to them by the State Department. And Dunlap says it will take his office about a full year to put a new system in place that will be capable of issuing real ID compliant licenses. Expect license fees to go up to cover the estimated $3 million price tag of the changeover. Dunlap also expects the feds to begin to ease up restrictions now that Maine has shown it will play ball. I'm Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.